All right, so in this training, we're gonna be showing you how to complete the form W4. All you need to know is that this form is helpful for us in terms of taxes. So we are required as an employer to have this form for all of our employees, including our internationals. You're gonna jump onto Google, just type in the search bar, Form W4 2023. Make sure you've got the right date on the top right-hand corner, like the video showing you. You're gonna add your name. If you have a middle name, you're gonna add the middle initial. So if your name is Elizabeth, Marie, you're going to add Elizabeth and then M for Marie. My name is Breeze Lucas. That's my middle name. So I'm going to add Breeze L. Your last name goes in the last name box. And if you have two last names, which is very common in the Latin community, you're going to put both of your last names in this box. Next up is your home address. This includes your international address. You must include the full address. So if you live in Kazakhstan, you're going to add your Kazakhstani address. You're going to add the um, partial line, which would be the street address in the top line where it says address. And then you're going to add your city or town, state or province and your zip code on the second line where it asks you to provide that information. Moving swiftly on, under section C, you're going to add that you are filing single or married. Now, important, social security number. Internationals that are coming to America for the first time, you do not currently have a social security number. We're going to get you one when you arrive in the States in 2024. So your social security card is going to look like this. It's going to have your own a unique social security number and you're going to include that but not right now what i'm asking if you don't have a social security number is that you add it add a bunch of zeros a total of nine zeros in the same formation all right in step three you're going to add a bunch of zeros again and then under step five you are going to sign this. You can do an electronic signature. Make sure to include the date. Remember in America, we put the month first, followed by the day, followed by the year. You must sign it, otherwise this form is not valid. Then you're gonna help me out. Under employers um, only, you're gonna add the following information. So it's the TABCOM, uh, which is the American Baptist Churches of Massachusetts the word DBA, which stands for doing business as, and then Grottenwood Camp and Conference Center. So that's the name of the employer. Then you're going to add the address, which is 167 Prescott Street, Grotten, Massachusetts. Pause the video right here if you need a moment to transpose that information onto your actual document. Really helpful to have this uh, input by the staff. Otherwise, I have to transpose it like 75 times on each of your forms. I thank you in advance for that. When you finish completing that section, you're going to scoot across to the first date of employment. So there are two dates. You either begin work with us on May 30, 2024 mostly support staff and leadership staff, those that are getting certifications. Otherwise, you'll be starting on the 6th of the 6th, so June 6, 2024. Put either of those dates. Our employer identification number is 04210 Again, pause the video here, add that information for me, and then I will be forever grateful to you. All right, so the form's complete. You're going to download it with your changes. Very important. Otherwise, you would have wasted your time. You're going to add your name and W4 to the um, you know, save name file. And then save it somewhere that you're going to remember. And then you're going to email it to me or Danny. It doesn't matter. We work in front of each other. So either email me or Danny is fine. For the sake of this video, I'm going to include mine. And you're going to just pop your name and the form name W4 in the subject bar. Alternatively, you can upload it directly to your staff profile. This is super, super helpful. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to go onto Google, type in Grottenwood Camp. 
visit the website. Here we are. And under staff and volunteers, you're going to log into my staff profile. Look at these cute people. It's gorgeous. That'll be you on there next summer. We're going to log in and voila. Oops. Well, you're actually going to gain access right now. I can't, but you get the point. All right. Good luck.